Hello everyone, this is Arzen and welcome back to another Arzen vlog. It's been a while, it's definitely been a while. And because it's been a while, I'm here to explain what's happened, what's going to happen and what might happen. So to start off with what has happened, uh, I'm no longer in a, well, I'm no longer in that committed relationship which took me to America and which was all which has all been on my channel so far and I I'm not in the same room that I was in I also have a new job so there's been a lot of things a lot of crazy shit has happened and I'm here to tell you what so I've got a new job which actually helps me in the ways of recording so I'm a cleaner, so I have lots of mini shifts. So I can do some work and then come in and, and then be like, yeah, I want to record Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's, let's do that. And I'll do a recording and I'll sort some stuff out. And then I'll go and do another shift and come back and do some more editing. Yeah, so that's that. I also am in a new place here. This is a hut. I've sort of turned it into a, into some living quarters, and I do it as and I use it for recording purposes as well, because here I don't get distracted. I don't have people who don't respect privacy coming in and interrupting it, and it allows me to be me. So I can be as loud as a freaking one, and no one's gonna come in and have a go. I can shout to the high heavens. I can do whatever, and it's all my room. It's all my it's all my space, and it's good. It's better audio quality as well, at least as far as recording goes. I don't know if it's better for the output, but as far as recording goes, it it shows much better quality when I'm recording it. So, so that's good, and that's that's I enjoy that. I, it's it's good for me to be able to be myself more. I was myself before, as you guys have seen, but there has been there obviously has been issues behind the scenes as well as sometimes on the the videos where you will see you will hear sorry you will hear like some dogs barking or someone will open a door and then i have to either keep it in and try and edit it out or edit some of it out or i try and edit most of it out and then the clips become jumpy and you're sort of like okay well why did that happen i don't need to do that anymore this is me, this is my channel, this is my room, this is everything. Mine. All the selfish me. Mine. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing more videos where I can express myself freely. I can swear, and I can shout, and I can do whatever, and I can do it freely. So I'm gonna, I'm enjoying that, I'm going, and I'm looking forward to making more videos on that. As for the channel I'm hoping to do I'm hoping to go back to doing one video a week if it seems like I have more time then I'll do I'll try and do more videos the video day is always Wednesday at 8 a.m. and the reason I picked that day the reason it's always been that day is I it's, it's sort of like a, a pick-me-up for people who are working long hours Monday to Friday and they get their weekends off but if you go on Monday to Wednesday you know Monday is always a the dreary day where everyone goes back in and you've got Tuesday. But Wednesday is at like the middle point of a working day and that's where I feel like, okay, some people need something in the middle of the day to just help them get by or the middle of the week. And that's why I picked Wednesday for that. It might, it might change. But as of now, like it's always going to be Wednesday, 8 a.m. 0, 0, 0, 0 t Pacific time. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how you I don't know the names of the area of time zones but I'm in the London time zone so 8 a.m. London time zone is when my videos go up in on Wednesday that's a, that, that might be a little important on Wednesday as well <laughs> on to the horror games as you might have noticed this video is just a, a catch-up for everything that's gone on and everything that's going on and I'm repeating myself again I repeat myself a lot you're gonna have to get used to this I try I try not to but you're gonna have to get used to this onto the horror games being in a, a more uh, 
recording positive. Uh, that's not right. Um, being in a more recording supportive area. I can go back to games that I enjoyed playing that I couldn't before, like Slender Man and Outlast. Well, you guys enjoyed that. You wanted me to carry on. But due to dogs barking, due to people walking in, I wasn't able to carry on. I couldn't stay in the zone where you have to be in that zone where you feel the suspense slowly rising. And then some games, like Slender Man rises and rises and it sort of it plays on a suspense, whereas Outlast has the jump scare moments that you need to be in a suspense moment to fully appreciate. I don't know whether you're going to appreciate it, but you know what I mean. You can fully appreciate the jump scare of it now i should be I, I could go back to that and i could do that and it might depending on what people want to see i might go back to that and finish that th those two as far as going back to finishing things goes five nights of freddy's one and five nights of freddy's three unless people specifically message me wanting me to continue them i feel like i've done it most of those games i feel like there's not really much more to do in them. I know there's, I know about Night Six on Final Fantasy Final One. I know there's like a, a Night Seven mode of some kind. Um, but I've already done. I've got up to Night Five in the first one. I've got up to Night Six in the third one. So again, unless people message me, I don't feel like there's any need for me to continue those games. As far as Final Fantasy Four, there. As far as not, the the English. As far as Five Nights of Freddy's 4 is concerned, I am going to continue that game. That is, you, you probably, you've already seen an episode of it. If you haven't, you know, link or video somewhere here. Um, yeah, as far as number 4 goes, I'm at night 3. I'm going to continue that one. I don't have sister location yet. So... When I finish Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, it will be a case of I will either go back and do Final Fantasy Freddy's 2. You see me doing this. I actually have my hands here going 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> I will either go back to Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 or I will go to Sister Location. It all depends on you know, what I, what I have to, to offer. I do have other horror games as well lined up. But it all depends, upon, again... It depends upon what I have to offer. It depends upon the time I have to ded dedicate to the channel, and it depends upon what people want. It, what people want to see and what I want to play, because it's always a combination. That it's always a balance. It's always a someone wants to see this, and I have to balance between whether I like it enough to play it. Because it, if someone asks me to play a game and I have absolutely no interest in it, it did happen before. Someone asked me to play Alien Isolation. Now, I watched Markiplier. I think it was Markiplier. It was either Markiplier or Jacksepticeye. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure it was Markiplier. I watched Markiplier play that game. So after I'd seen the entirety of the game, I had no desire to play it. Because it happens with some games with me. Once I know the storyline, and if it is a complete dedicated storyline and there's no like interchangeable ways for it, once I know the storyline, that's it. I, I, don't, I don't feel like there's a way, reason to play it. Um, and someone someone asked me to play Alien Isolation, and I looked at it, and I was like, I don't have any interest in it, so I don't, I'm I'm not going to play that. And there's a balance there. So if someone asks me to play a game, and I have an interest, or it looks like I could have fun on it, I'm going to play it. But you guys don't want to see me. You know, you, you ask me to play a game, you don't want to see me sitting there go, um, yeah, that happened, and you know, look like a freaking drone and. Not, you know, I'm not having any fun because that's not fun to watch. You don't want to see that. You want to see me get scared out of my freaking head or you want to see me laughing my ass off or, you, you know, or you want to see me get angry as hell like freaking Hotline Miami, you know? You, that, you want to see something aside from the game that you will enjoy. And that's why I like to record those games. I play other games. Like, I think I included in a, in a previous video. It's been a while since I've, I've been on this channel. But I, I included in some videos where I was playing um, Mars Warlocks. That was it. I was playing Mars Warlocks and I was enjoying that, playing that. But it wasn't a game that I thought would be good for me to record. I think, I, I think back then I wanted a game to uh, have anyway. 
to have on the side anyway. But I wanted to have... But I didn't feel like there was a reason to record it because I wasn't going to be very responsive. It was going to be a game very much where I didn't talk much. I listened. It, it was an RPG that I saw I was quiet. I absorbed myself in the world and I played. Now... If there's a, if you want me to do that in the future, if like if if you want me to record games like that in the future, then I will. But at the time, I didn't think it was. I didn't think you wanted that. Excuse me. So. Yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> um, with the channel, I do. Like I have other hobbies as well. Uh, one of those hobbies is making cosplays. Now, for those who don't know what cosplaying is, it's having a character in a game, a movie, a comic, a anime, you know, from, from whatever, and making a costume based on a character, the, the specific character, and you go to somewhere like a, like a Comic-Con, and you, you don your costume, and you walk in there, and you feel like a boss, and everyone comes around, like, oh, I'll take a picture, or give me a selfie, and all of that crap. And, you, you, you know, people who cosplay, they really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Here's cosplays I've done, you know, and I enjoy making them. Sometimes you buy them, there are some people who don't make them. You know, you don't have to make them to be a cosplayer. But for people who do make them, it's fantastically rewarding to make a cosplay and then go somewhere and have people actually enjoy what you've made and have people want to take pictures of, of you there was one that I did I'll put it somewhere that I absolutely loved I made a, the, a whole I made loads of things for it you know and I absolutely adored being able to go there and so many people loved it Half the people didn't even know who I, who, what character I was, but they wanted to take pictures of it. So it, that, it's ultimately very rewarding for that. And it's something I might include in the channel. So I might make a, a crafting playlist. And that will just be my sort of cosplay crafting things. What, what I craft, how I craft. I'm not entirely sure what it will include. But I do know that... I think it's a good idea for me to do that because then if I don't have if I have to juggle between both of them then I also don't have to juggle between both of them if you, if you know what I mean I can I can craft and then I can go straight to I can record my I record myself crafting and I'll go straight to the channel and or the video editing software and I'll edit it and put it up as a video and then you won't go without a video from me because you'll get one of me crafting. And if that's not your thing, then I've got other videos. You can enjoy them. But for those who do watch and do enjoy crafting, there will be videos there of me crafting. At, at the start, it may just be me showing what I have done already. Um, but who knows, you know. Uh, uh, the world is your oyster. But I think that, that's got us all caught up to date. And, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the last video. And I hope you enjoy the next video. Enjoy. <laughs> so, you take care. And this was awesome.